Hello, and welcome to a bit of a different video, or, well, in keeping with the rest of my channel, actually. Today, we have a mystery box from Dekai Anime. Uh, specifically, it's Pokemon-themed. So, just a quick rundown before we jump into this. Basically, on their website, they advertise they're making 30 mystery boxes filled with Pokemon stuff. Now, I don't remember the exact figures they gave, but it was something like two Pokemon-themed drinks three Pokemon snacks, and then I think it's like six or seven like bits of merchandise, as it were, wherever. Um, and it all came to like £30, which is, I don't know how much that is in dollars. Um, and yeah, so I, I thought, hey, you know, I'm going to jump at that. That sounds like an interesting thing. I am very much into Pokemon. Now, just a heads up as well, um, two things actually. One, it's all kind of loose in the box. There's no box within it or whatever, so I'm just going to be grabbing them out from the top. And the second thing is one of the items here isn't going to be Pokemon themed, it's regular Bubblegum Ramune. And that's simply because this was just under the cost for free shipping. So I just threw in a bottle of Ramune to kind of bring it up there because shipping would have actually been more expensive than the bottle of Ramune. So I thought, hey, I'm getting something kind of for free. So I'm going to grab some of these uh, air packets. I don't think these are Pokemon themed, annoyingly. So, uh, unfortunately, we just got the regular, non-rare uh, air packets. It's quite, it's quite well packed, I think. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, um, I the thing. Hang on. Let me quickly show you guys. So, without giving anything away, there. That's kind of what I'm working with. So, I'm literally just going to be grabbing stuff from the box and then we'll take a look. So uh, I think there is something right at the top so I'm going to grab this straight away and this is a wafer I think? Yes, that says Pokemon. Um, Unibasa Choco I think. Uh, I know that says Su Choco and that's bad. I don't know, the, f the first two I always mix up. My Katakana isn't great but yeah so this is one of these snacks presumably. Now I don't think it comes... Oh, wait, no, maybe it does. I think this may come with a sticker of some kind, because it says 24 there, and presumably... Hey, there we are. So, yeah, there are stickers. I think that's what that's advertising. Pikachu seems quite happy with it. Uh, yeah, I, I've had, like, wafers... Ah, by lot, there we are. I've had, like, wafers like this before. This is chocolate, obviously. Uh, it says choco there, and it looks chocolatey. So that is one of these snacks. Very nice. I am a sucker for snacks that come with like stickers and stuff. I, I know, I know, sort of, that's exactly how they hook children into snacks, but hey, I don't care. I'm an adult and I will get hooked on snacks for small stickers that I may never use, just like kids do. And so we also have some biscuity stuff, a uh, chocolate biscuit, presumably, in the shape of Pikachu, probably. Um, and indeed, it uh, also says Gesto, does it? Taze, Daze, yeah, sorry. Um, which means we also have some guests. Who will these be? So that is Zaman Center and Zakian, obviously, from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Also pretty cool, just below. So this is how you open it up, I presume, but that is some pretty cool packaging there. So those are the... Wait, no, it is this way. Those are the stickers you can get, presumably. Very nice. I'd quite like the Blastoise one, as Blastoise is one of my favourites, but also Lugia. It would be pretty cool. Honestly, any of them are cool with me. And we have, obviously, some of the Galar starters from the new Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let's check what's next. Okay, so I've got this... Wait, hang on. No, nope, never mind, that is actually just wrapping paper. Um, <laughs> right, cool. Let's delve in and get some more. Man, these are well packaged, I'll give them that. Um, ah, ooh, ooh, okay, hang on, I, I felt something very interesting. Hey, there we are, so, actually, as it happens, sorry, I went looking for it, but I realise I've actually eaten all of them. Um, as it happens, in my previous, um, well, two months previous, am I crate unboxing now? I actually got um, the exact same thing as this, but Sobble on the front, and now we got Skull Bunny, that is pretty cool. Um, Basically, they're cooler. They kind of look like gum, but they're not gum. You can swallow them and they're fine. But they come wrapped in, like, small uh, fact sheets kind of things. I don't know if you guys can really see there, but they're kind of like small things you can collect. Um, and they're numbered or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy to do that because uh, 
I can add that to my other five kind of wrapper things. They're, they're pretty nice actually. They're, they're cola flavoured. Hey, <laughs> and this is the one I felt. This is Pokemon, well, Pokemon Noodle, but it is Pokemon Ramen. So, um, this is very cool actually. So this, uh, as with the other things actually, comes with a sticker. Now, I had one of these years ago. I think I may have actually uploaded a video on my channel. And just to check, this is uh, by Sanyo Shokuhin, and it's a uh, soy sauce flavour, which is, is pretty decent. I've, um, yeah, I had one of these, I think it was from Gen 5 even, because I think I had a Crocker Rock sticker that came with that one. Those stickers, actually, though, look really cool. Um, the Gengar one I'd really love, although, you know, legendary birds. And also, yes, I um, just remembered, so... In here as well, you have uh, small fish cakes that have Pikachu's face on. So I'll be, I'll make, um, in terms of all these snacks and stuff, I'll be making a separate video for these. Or rather, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just make like a Pokemon snack thing. Otherwise, this video is going to go on forever. So next up, I think, uh, is some ramen. Now, that's uh, ramen? Ramune. That's ramen. Now, I think, actually, one of these things might be the aforementioned... Hey, there we are, yeah, so that's my um, blueberry, actually, uh, Ramune, not bubblegum. Um, but yeah, so this is not related to this, this is just something I ordered on the side to make up the cost. But, I do believe there is a bottle of Pokemon Ramune, which is very, very cool. I am... I, I love Ramune, it's so cool. Also, it's got the three starters from Galar, which is very cool because I'll put a picture up here, but um, I, I kind of collect Ramune bottles if they're, um, if they're licensed or whatever, after year license. And two of the other ones I have, I think, are like the Gen 6, the Generation 6 and the Generation 7 Pokemon starters. So that actually works really well um so i i well i i presumed they made those but i'd never really seen them listed anywhere and i think this is another drink because it feels cylindrical i can't quite tell what's on the hmm, oh hang on wait is there oh yo okay so i was aware of these cans for ages um this uh actually what does the sticker say this is white grape flavour sparkling water. So I've been aware of these cans for ages. There's like a lot of different flavours and stuff and design well, designs. I don't know so much about flavours. Um but I know there's like one with a Pokeball design, there's obviously Pikachu and Jigglypuff and stuff. So yeah, this is Snorlax and da that is so cool. Um yeah, so cans I also mildly kind of collect. I say collect, I have about four of them or something. Just if they're like anime themed or something, because uh, they do a lot of that in Japan. I kind of wish they did it more over here. But yo, that is really cool, actually. So this is Ocean Bomb. Um, presumably that's the make or ever. So I don't know if the different designs actually correlate to different flavours. Maybe like Charmander is Berry or something. Or, you know, they're all sort of white grape flavour. But still, I'm more than happy to try that. So, as I said, stay tuned, because I'll be making a separate Pokemon snack kind of video thing. Let me just grab... So I think the rest is packaging, and then there is a bag of items. Yep. Yeah. Okay, right. Actually, I'm going to move everything to the back for a minute, because we've got loads of packaging here, and then we'll be back to go through this. Hey, there we are, right, and that's better for you guys as well, because you can see all the snacks and stuff. So yeah, just to count it up, one, two, three, four, so we got four snacks and two drinks, which, yeah, I thought they said three snacks, um, well, you know, food-related items, so like, I don't know, maybe I read wrong, or maybe they've thrown something extra in, but hey, either way. So a lot of these feel like gachapon, which is sort of, um... You'll, you'll see them in a second, but they're the kind of uh, hard eggs you get from like vending machines, mostly in Japan, that have various Pokemon things. I think they all are, apart from this. So I don't know what this is. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, is this a snack as well? Uh, let's just look. Oh, no, okay, no, that's not the lead. What is... Wait, is this like a pillowy thing? Hmm. 
let me just check off camera. Okay, so I've had a read there, so I think that says Silicon Cara, uh, Chara Press, as in the character press. Um, is this Shirikon Chara Pressu? Um, so yeah, so it, it's not a snack, I don't think, um, unless you eat silicone. So yeah, I'm going to open this up. I, I don't know exactly what it's trying to say. Um, Silicon character press, basically. So, like, is it something where you can imprint the image of Pokemon onto something? I'm not too... Oh, yo! Yeah. Okay, so it comes with some, um, some, uh, sort of, like, chewing gum. So this is Ramune flavour, because this actually came in... I bought some um, One Piece trading cards that had this on. Ah, oh, right, okay, so this is a band, I think, like a wristband kind of thing. Let's double check. But yeah, so it comes with this and stuff. Uh, and this, I believe, let's put it on my hand. E there, there we are. I, as I, I didn't quite realise how sad and disappointed Pikachu looks there. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm sorry. Roll it, however, looks forever happy. There we are. No, whoa. Well, Pikachu's excited, but now Roll it isn't as happy. Uh, and yeah, no, no, they're fairly neutral. So yeah, um, so this is kind of like a rubber wristband, I guess, or something. Uh, very interesting. I'll, I'll probably find something like wrap this around, maybe like a. Um, pencil holder or something. I'm also incredibly happy because, so this is from the Alola generation, uh, Sun and Moon, and um, of the three starters actually, Rowlet is hands down my favourite of the three. I do love me some owls. So that is really cool. Actually also very high quality, like the rubber and everything. This is, uh, if I was the type of person to wear rubber wristbands, I th this, this would be one I'd rock. Um, also kudos to them for throwing in some bubble gum. So yeah, interesting. Uh, oh, actually, you could have just opened it like that. Okay, whatever. So presumably this is a gacha item maybe you'd have got from a machine. Um, so right, we're going to go into the more like typical area now, because as you can see, the rest are balls, and one of them's a Pokeball. Um, so this is very exciting. I, I do love me some Gachapon things. Uh, right, hang on, give me a second. Hey, there we are. That was a lot easier to open than I thought, actually. Some of these can be, like, overwhelmingly difficult to open. So, let's take a look at exactly what this is. Alright, so these are kind of hanger things, I think. There's four to collect. So, we got Pikachu, we have Rollet, we have Litten, and can anyone guess the other one? It, it's going to be Poplio, and it is indeed Poplio. Um, yeah, so, let's see. Out of all of them, honestly, I'm pretty happy with any of them. Rollet, I'd prefer... Uh, Pikachu would be nice. I mean, I, I'm, as I said, I'm happy with all four because I do like the Alola starters. Um, they're pretty cute. So let's see. What did we? I think it's a Poplio because it's blue. Um, right. Let's free him from this plastic prison. Hey, sorry about that. I have to uh, cut through some tape. But indeed, there he is. A very cute Poplio. Sorry, you didn't uh, focus for a second there. Very nice, actually. Um, I don't have any Poplio figures. I have a Litten figure, um, and I think I have, I have a Rollet as well, um, which is from McDonald's, actually. You kind of he bounces his wings as he walks and stuff. It's very cute. But yeah, I don't actually have any Poplio figures, so that is pretty cool. Does he stand? Okay, not fully, but uh, I'm sure I could probably rig up something where I can like put my. Um, dangly kind of charms on, because I've got quite a few now from the various uh, Gachapon I've bought over the years. It's very cute though, very uh, very high quality as well, especially for like something that it costs about, you know, two to three hundred yen, which is something like two to three pounds over here, which is pretty darn cool. So I'm going for the smaller ones first, and then I'm kind of working up to the bigger ones. Also, sorry, clearing all the plastic out of the way. Ah, now this has a lot of tape on it, so I'm going to go and undo the tape and I'll be right back. All right, and in undoing undoing all the tape, I did notice this is Bandai. Um, obviously, they do a lot of toys. I think they have uh, the Pokemon license, so I think maybe a lot of these Gachapon things will be Bandai uh, created, but who knows. Anyway, let's grab... 
this and let's take a look. Uh, what is, ooh, very interesting, okay. All right, so we got a very nice uh, Lapras there, presumably which is one of the, th the things. Uh, wow, those are some interesting Pokemon uh, Pikachu pauses there. So we've got Pikachu sleeping, Pikachu's butt, um, Pikachu sleeping again, but facing us, a happy Pikachu. <gasps> Yo, Ditto's in here. Okay then, this has got, wait, I thought it said six there. Yeah, there's six, but there's clearly more. So there's a happy Ditto, there's a neutral Ditto, there's a Magikarp, uh, sort of, and a Togepi that looks like it's crying. Uh, and maybe they, oh, do they like stack or something? Are these stacker things? Or are they just um, small figures? I don't think they're danglies either, which is interesting. Right, let's take a look. I believe we've got a Pikachu. Uh, oh, and this is a lot easier to open up, actually. So I'm going to rip into this, put it out, and we have a Pikachu. Ah, oh, yo! Okay, I know what these are now. So, right. We have the sleeping Pikachu who's kind of facing away from us. And these are uh, clips. So kind of like you can close different things. Um, actually, it was a lot of these in my kitchen for, you know, when you eat like start a bag of potato chips or something and you don't eat it all at once. So this is going to be very useful, actually. I'm legitimately probably going to use this. Obviously for smaller things, um, you know, but still very, very cute. Bit of a weird one, I won't lie. Um, so are all of these like clips? I presume so then, maybe? Yeah, very interesting. I don't know what Lapras is. Is Lapras like the chase one, the like rare you could get? Or I I do not know. Very, very interesting so far. Um, it's been, you know, the, the dangly one has been the most standard as it were. Uh, so we have four left. Ooh, that sounded a heavy one that I just picked up. I'm gonna go with this one though first. It's blue, it's big, and it might be a little bit easier to open. No, it won't. Okay, BRB. Alright, I am back. Ah! See, it's, it's these Gachapon cases I quite like, because you just like crack them open. Ooh, okay. So I think I know what we've got, uh, whatever this is, but we'll take a look any. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, okay, no, maybe it's not what I was thinking. I was thinking it's a, um, okay, so you've got like a cube with different pictures on, I think, and then there's a Pokeball that corresponds with them. Is this like a dice or something? Okay, sorry, so I just had a read, actually. So this is Pokemon Battle Dice. Okay, sorry, I just had a read of that. So this is Pokemon Battle Dice, or Pokemon Battle Dice. Um, so yeah, these are like dice, obviously, that have maybe different kind of numbers on them or whatever. Maybe you store them in the Pokeballs. Um, also, a little bit of uh, fun facts for you here. So the Great Ball, which is here, which is, I think, what we got, is called the Super Ball. Um, oh well, the Super Boru A and B, and the Ultra Ball is called the Hyper Ball, uh, Hyper Boru. And obviously, Master Ball is still Master Ball. So that's pretty cool. So like, obviously, it's got six different sides, and each side is maybe a different Pokemon with a different number value, and you kind of battle with your friends or something. That's that's actually pretty cool. Um, right, so. Oh, okay, so this is a sticker job, I think. Uh, I am going to have to apply these in a second, but we'll take a quick look first. Let me angle this. There we go, that's a bit better. So, yeah, so we got the Great Ball, and I think... Ooh, ooh, okay, it... Wait, no, hang on, what? Okay, so, like... Interesting, and then... Ah! So let's, hang on, let's put it in there. Let's just give it a whirl quickly. Oh, so it kind of shoots it out. So you kind of go like that and maybe like... Hey, that's pretty cool. Right, okay, cool. I'm going to go um, laboriously put these six stickers on then and I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I've applied the stickers. Uh, not very well, as you'll see. I've done her a bit shoddily. Now, I did realise in applying these, I don't know where 
on a dice all of the numbers are in relation to stuff. So I've put one there, uh, which is a wishy-washy. Number two is Stuffle. Uh, three is a Palo Sand. Number four is a Salazzle, I believe. I, I really can't tell. Oh, wait, sorry, no, that's um, Wishy-Washy's, like, uh, ability, isn't it? It's like it swarms with other Wishy-Washy. Sorry, I thought that was a Slazzle. Uh, number five is a Vicar Vault. As you can see, I did not apply that very well. I kind of slipped, and it was too late. Now, I don't want to pull it up, because it will just rip the sticker. And number six is a Snorlax, which is the same as we got on that, uh, that tin. Right, let's see. Can we roll... A natural six. Oh, where did that go? No, we got a number one. All right then. If I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, I would have failed. That that is pretty darn cool though. Um, if ever I need like a dice for something, uh, honestly, that would probably fit a regular sized dice as well. So like, even if you didn't want to use the gimmicky Pokemon one, that uh, that's really cool. I'm going to move everything to the side again, just to clean this up, and then we'll do the next one. Alright, so I am back, and I just pulled this one out, which looks like a Pokeball. Um, so yeah, we're going to bust into this. Ah, now this has... Can I undo it with my fingers? No, I can't. Right, BRB. Alright, so, got that off. Man, this is actually slightly nostalgic, because years ago, the first thing I ever saw in a shop of Pokemon, uh, like a corner shop was something similar to this, and inside there were like chalky candy things which weren't that great, and a figure, and I got a Charmander, and man, that was cool. But this seems to have a button, which is pretty cool. Okay, um, I've, I've had a check of this, um, and I don't, I don't think, I, so I think the, the whole point is maybe it's the Pokeball itself, and presumably there was maybe like a Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball. Um, and yeah, it seems maybe the only function is that you can press the button. So this thing here says push. Um, and that seems to be it, I think. I can't fully tell. I may have to check this out. But looking at it, I don't think it's meant to come apart or anything. Uh, that's a bit of a weird one. I don't fully know why well, there's a dip there. Um, but yeah, looking at it, the black seems like a seam, as it were. Um, so you wouldn't really... Although the, the bottom seems a little bit loose, which is weird, but... I don't know, I think... Oh, wait! Ah! <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool, right. Um, what is this, then? So yeah, the... So, it's... Various different balls, very interesting. Um, right, I'm going to go have a read of this, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've had a read. That is Monster Ball Stamp, or Monsuda, Monsuta Boru Stamp, Stampu. And this is the Sun and Moon version, Sun and Moonu. Um, so yeah, so uh, presumably, so there are different ones, obviously. There's... Um, Obviously, these are the patterns they will stamp, which is pretty darn cool, actually. So, yeah, you kind of drop it, you um, press the button, and then you kind of roll it over some paper, maybe? I'm going to see what's inside here, uh, and if, you know, I'll, I'll go grab some. Ah, uh, okay, so... Oh, I see, so that kind of... Hmm. Now, the only downside is... Do I need some ink? Because I, I don't have any ink with me, unfortunately. So, we're just going to have to have a look for now. I'll maybe try and get some ink um, by next time or something. I don't know where the hell I'd buy ink, to be honest. But this is really cool. So, that says Pika. Oh. Um, that. Good. Yeah, I think that says good. Um, that is okay. Very nice. And that, oh, is the one we've had before, actually. Hang on. Ah, and that says thank you. So I believe, actually, if we want to have a look uh, more detailed. Hey, there we are. So that's what they would look like. Uh, thank you. Okay. Good. And Pika. Let me just check. Does it mention? Ah, yeah, okay. So that, 
I think that's dipping it in ink there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I I don't really have ink. I presume it's maybe more of a um, common thing in Japanese households or something, but uh, that that is very cool. And if I do get my hands on a small carton of ink or something, I will I will give it a go. But um, don't hold your breath. But maybe I'll sh uh, quickly show you the results. All right, so we've got two things left. We've got a red and a translucent. I'll go for the translucent one, actually. Um, this has tape, and yeah, okay, I'll be right back. All right, I see the back of Pikachu. What could that mean? Uh, honestly, at this point, it could mean a number of things. It's been a very varied um, collection of Pokemon stuff. I I'm properly impressed, like, uh, no two things have been the same. I was slightly dreading everything would be like a hanger or stickers or something. Oh, okay. So I think that says Toko Toko. Um, Pikachu movie 20th version. So this... Oh, okay then. So I actually was kind of tempted to buy some of these a while ago, but I forgot about them. Uh, these are Ash Hat Pikachus, basically. So these, this is obviously Pikachu wearing... Ash is various hats from the anime. That is very cool. Um, yeah, quite interesting actually. So, I I have watched quite a bit of the anime. Uh, also, the movie I think over here was no was called I Choose You. I think that's the movie they were on about, but I could be wrong. So anyway, within here we'll have a Pikachu with which hat is that? Oh, I. Th I think, is that a Lola? I think that's Sun and Moon, isn't it? I want to say. Uh, oh, okay. It's a wind-up thing. There, there was a small um, small thing on the le uh, leaflet there that sort of showed there was some motion or something. So that's interesting. So his tail obviously goes there. Hey, there we are. That's Pikachu's tail. Now let's dig his head out. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll put it on, and uh, then I shall try and find out what this motion thing is. So yeah, that is indeed. I'm 99% sure that's the hat Ash wears uh, in the Sun and Moon anime when he goes to Alola. However, I will check this, and if I'm wrong, I will put it in the um, in the caption below. There. So I think he dances or walks, maybe, because his feet are the things that move. So, no, if I wind him up there and move that a bit. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get a better angle of this. You all ready for this? That is adorable. I, um... <laughs> okay then, well, fantastic. Yeah, so I don't know if this is actually the Gachapon series I was tempted to order, because I'm fairly sure the one I was interested in was Pikachu sat down. I don't think he had any mobility things, but this is even better, honestly. I am a sucker for wind-up toys, um, especially as everyone's working from home at the moment. Sometimes, you know, I get bored, so this will be fantastic to just make a small obstacle course on my desk or something and run Pikachu through it. Yeah, that, that's a... so he's very light, um, however, I don't really see that as an issue. He's very happy, that is very cute, easily my, my favourite one so far. Um, so, let's end with the red one. Will it have tape on it? Uh, no, no it won't. Yay, I won't have to do any jump cut. Fantastic. So I'm sticking to this lower angle here. Uh, okay, BRB. Alright, I got it open, sorry. Um, so, let's check what this thing is then. Oh, Pikachu's there. Very nice. Um, and I believe it might just be one of the balls, possibly. Um, let's see, which one would I like? Uh, oh, I'd quite like a Premier Ball, actually, because you don't, you don't see them as often as, like, everything else. Um, yeah, I, I think it, it's a fairly standard thing. So, let, oh, okay, no. Ah. I got kind of excited for a second, I was like, ah, oh, it's a Premier Ball, but it is a regular Pokeball. However, that's not to say that's a bad thing, to be honest. 
We Oh wait, okay. Hey, there we are. Right, so it is a Pokeball. But it's also a stress ball or a squeezy ball or something. That's pretty cool actually, you know? It's um because well it doubles, you can just have it on display. Uh I don't think you will have it on display because it just keeps rolling. But also Hey, that's pretty cool. That's uh yeah, that, that's pretty nice. Right, I'm going to put everything together in a launch display and then we'll discuss it and then I'll end this very long video. BRB. Alright, I am back and I've arrayed everything out so we can see it. This, honestly, this has been a lot of fun. And I think in terms of value and stuff as well, it's actually worked out pretty darn well because... Um, even if you like add up all of the snacks and the drinks and stuff, that's that, that's coming near to like twenty pounds or whatever as you know already. And then you've got the gachapon things, which you know vary in uh, price and stuff. But I'm sure the stamp, the the Pikachu and the dice thing, especially probably you know a fair few quid anyway. So this has been a very good value box, I think. And I'm always happy to receive more Pokemon, sort of like. Things, especially the weird things. So, the stamp and like the dice roller are both really, really cool. Like things I never would have thought of in terms of like catch upon things. But, um, but yeah, everything's been pretty darn cool. I mean, I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm probably not going to wear the wrist thing and the stress toy. I don't really tend to use stress toys very much. But they're still pretty cool display things. I'm really looking forward to cracking open that Ramune. I think it's going to be regular Ramune flavour, but eh, whatever. And also the Snorlax thing, so keep an eye out. I'll probably be doing like a part two to this, maybe, where I cover all of the snacks and stuff. The reason I didn't do them all in this video is because, well, that's like almost a full meal in itself, basically. You know, you've got ramen, you've got a drink, you've got some snacks and stuff. So I'll be filming those over the next few days, so keep an eye out. In maybe a week's time or something, I'll probably uh, do the Pokemon food special, as it were. Oh, Pokemon food and drink special. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Sorry, this video's probably been over half an hour long by now. But as always, I'd like to thank everyone for sticking around and uh, watching and stuff. I'll be making other videos in the future, of course. I'll leave a playlist and other videos or whatever at the end for you to watch, if you fancy it. And that... That about ends it, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!